Gus Senbet Salah Hamalek Shabbat Shalom Hamalek Shabbat Shalom Yes, beautifully good King Sabbath here for the 124th, the 124th Earth Day of the Man Child, the Man Child of Revelation, Lij Tefari, Lij Tefari Mekonin. And how and why do we say that? Well, we go into much more detail on the on the Earth Day, the Kingdom Come. How does this birth and the birth of the Son of Man, the Man-Child, in 1892 in Ijarsa, Gora, Ethiopia? All right, let's move this over here for a moment. I want to focus on the Man-Child. All right, the Man-Child, Ras Tefari Mekonen. How does the birth of the Man-Child Lich Tafara and Mekonen, how does that fulfill? How does that fulfill Revelation chapter 12? I mean, how is the womb man of Apocalypse, the womb man, who is the womb man of the Apocalypse? Who is that woman of the Apocalypse, of Revelation? Who is that womb man who is clothed I mean, with the sun? Right? And who is the man-child? Well, we get into the first part of it, actually, and I, I give thanks, brothers and sisters, and also for the attendance and the hearing, and hopefully others will get to hear that word that was brought forward, that was brought near, and also clear on the ear, especially on the TJIF. All right, the TJIF, the Thank Jah, it's Friday, the podcast and the broadcast from July 22nd, July 22nd, this Gregorian year, 2016, for the TJIF, the Thank Jah, it's Friday, I and I, I assembly and then gathering on the air and the Irish for the Rastafari Sabbath Eve, and this uh, Sabbath Eve, it marks the King's Sabbath. It also marks the 124th um, anniversary of the Earth Day, or some would say the birthday of the Son of Man, or the Man-Child, that Man-Child of Revelation. How is Lij Tefari, Lij Tefari, the Man-Child of Revelation? And also, let's consider this Torah portion. All right, this Torah portion known as Balak, all right, this Parsha known as Balak, all right, this 40th Torah portion, how does that connect with the star and the scepter prophecy? There is that star and that scepter prophecy concerning Judah, Yehuda, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. The, the rod, the scepter shall not depart. What is that prophecy of the star and the scepter? And what is the star of Yaakov? Right? What is the star of Jacob? Is the star of Jacob the Magin David? Is that what is called the Magin David? Right? Or the shield of David? Is it the six-pointer star? Is the six-pointer star what these say or what those say? What does the scripture what does the word say? And what does the prophecy say? Well, this Torah portion concerning Balak, I, this 40th um, RSS, Rastafari Sabbatical Study, we, we're now actually getting ready, you know, <laughs> to get on the air and in the Irit for the after the Shabbat. But it's just very important just to remind the eyes for the TJIF, right, for the thank shot. It's Friday from July 22nd. The, the audio and the podcast from July 22nd, 2016. All right, you can check it out now. And uh, brothers and sisters and other um, video, those who are working more on the video side of the ministry and can take the audio and kind of embellish the audio with the art and the pictures and bring forward certain selected parts because we touched on much, many areas 
of the the prophecy and, and the scripture and, and how the history, right? Both looking at the, the Bible, the, the glory of his majesty, the glory of John, the word of John, looking at the history. So while we look at the history, right, and we look at the word, right, we also see the, the, the prophecy and also the fulfillment of that mystery. But namely, we're speaking about the woman of the apocalypse and the man child and that birth of the man child. As we say, Negus Senbet Salam for this, the King Sabbath, right? The King Sabbath peace, right? The Hamalek Shabbat Shalom for this King Sabbath, this 124th, right? And the Psalm 124, once again, the Psalm 124 is very significant, right? It's very significant in this. In this respect, here we go right here. Just once again, my brothers and sisters, let's, you know, to, to read and to study and to meditate upon the word. Psalm 124, right? Psalm 124. It's in Av, Olamen, Fiskadus, Adu, Amlak, Shema, Av, Yisrael, Yahweh, Elohainu, Yahweh, Ahad. This is a song of degrees, a shir ha alot, a song of degrees of David. Of Dawid, right? Of Dawid, if it had not been Yahweh Shah who was on I and I's side. Now may Israel say, no. if it had not been Yahweh Shah, Rastafari, who was on I and I's side, our side, when men and then people and Pope Paul rose up against us, the children of Negus. Then they had swallowed us up quick, alive. Hi, the word is hi, yes I, hi. Then they had swallowed us up alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, the children of the Negus. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over. I and I soul, our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over. I and I, our soul. Blessed Baruch, our Baruch Yahweh. Baruch, blessed be Cha Astafari, who hath not given us the children of the goose as prey to their teeth. Baruch Yahweh, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the sneer of the fowlers. The sneer is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name, the Hashem of Yahweh, he who be who he be. Our help is in the name of the first power of the Trinity, Kedamau. Haila Sabasit, who made heaven and earth the first power, even I and I, Father. Awo, Amen. And we see how this links with Psalm 121, right? Psalm 121, just make that link. I and I, help cometh from Yahweh. He who be who he be, come from Chuck. 